alternately clever friend appear to have traversed this seemingly never-ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now and agree to give me unfettered access to the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursue it to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, uh, leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. <laughs> you get to shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let the games begin! Someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, spirit. So, about that contract... I am a poltergeist of my word. Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail, specifically? Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. But one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Very well. I shall agree to your contract, with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. 
If you want me out, 